Hey what's up guys this is GK So often a lot of people have been asking me will AI replace devops like for example for those who are trying to learn devops for the first time or trying to get into devops market the question that they have in their mind is what if i spend 3 months or 6 months in this field uh, or trying to learn devops and then ultimately if ai would replace the whole thing and i have wasted my time in this so i'm going to address uh, this thing and uh, having worked on devops for quite some time and recently have completed a lot of projects uh, help lot of companies startups to um, migrate their applications to cloud uh, use a lot of platforms and tools and also i have used ai uh, on during my process of doing all these things or doing my gigs so i'm going to tell you where exactly ai is currently used in devops and then what are the things that you should focus as a devops engineer if you really want to you know um, learn things faster using ai and also what are things that i feel like maybe a devops sorry rather ai will disrupt things faster on devops side All right so first things first um is ai actually disrupting devops um like how ai is disrupting you know the programming programmers developers similar way ai is sort of disrupting devops as well but it has a very less impact on devops when compared when compared to uh, the development like i'll give you an example so for instance when you join a company uh, you have hundreds and you know if maybe thousands of developers and maybe uh, a small team might have 15 12 15 to 20 developers writing the code now if, if using ai um, you're going to write much faster and ai will definitely assist you to do things in a better way you need just fewer developers so if the founder himself is or herself is more innovative then they would use uh, they would have a lead person and then maybe one or two developers to verify the code that ai is writing and so they can get things done and that's how you have seen a lot of companies a lot of small companies and startups they are able to create products much faster using ai and using coding tools such as cursor and kiro or whatever new tools that are in the market with respect to ides and the ides are using ai assist coding standards or practices like they use underneath cloud or uh, you know chat gpt etc uh, but ultimately they are able to code so it has disrupted developers in a much larger way now in the devops field uh, whatever i have seen is it isn't such a larger disruption because devops by itself lot of people in company are very less like there are few devops engineers in the company when compared to the developers so the small set of people who are helping company or who are helping uh, you know startups or companies to create the cicd pipelines or you know migrate the code to or put the code into production using kubernetes or whatever using docker containers um, and if that is done then they are going to manage the infrastructure or day to day operations sre operations or whatever so there there are sets of, there are certain roles and responsibilities of devops engineer which is standard and uh, which is which is why they require a lot of uh, they, which is which is why they require less people when compared to developers so that's that's why the disruption even if you notice isn't you know much larger to an extent of how it is disrupting the actual developers who write the code now what i'm going to tell you after using ai recently and how i have used it is that it is more comprehending in nature like it is more helping the devops engineers in a much much better way like for instance if you are writing the ci cd pipeline for a startup you know uh, all you have to start from all you have to do uh, is from starting from the git repository right so from the git repository you can ask let's say chat gpt or gemini that uh, you know i want to write the ci pipeline for this code so then chat gpt might say that you know it will give you some suggestions whether it is jenkins github actions or gitlab ci or whatever tools uh, now if that company has already established a ci cd platform then you just have to follow what chat gpt is saying or you just have to follow writing the ci pipeline but if you are a senior devops engineer and if you are asked to choose one platform then you cannot go blindly with whatever ai model is saying you have to use your experience like for instance if the code is already in is already in git um, or github then you would suggest to use github actions you would suggest the company that we will use github actions and we'll create the ci cd pipeline rather than installing jenkins and blindly following uh, chat gpt or whatever suggestions that you get because most of the time chat gpt and all these models are trying to please you in nature like saying that if you say hey do you think jenkins is better for me then it would definitely say yes jenkins is better for you so it will not go against against uh, your wish uh, so so they are sort of more positive in nature rather than trying to uh, say something 
which which may turn out to be negative and you may not like that uh, feedback or the response that you get from from gpt or or from the ai models from the llms so uh, here the experience plays a lot and uh, once you know that you have to write a github actions ci pipeline then you will definitely use cursor or you have to use cursor or copilot the reason why i'm saying that is i mean anyways you have to use the documentation so instead of using documentation you can just use the ide the ai based ides uh, to write the template and then you can you can uh, you know extend your uh, things from there now this is where it, it might get little tricky for example one of the project that i was working on um, i wanted to write some terraform script after the ci is done so whether it is docker uh, images or whatever so the ci part is pretty easy and you know ai will definitely help you to write entire thing let, let's say you have a repo and if you want it to write the docker files it does amazing job and then you can review it once but uh, most of the 90% or above it will tell you it will give you the whole code but uh, where it actually creates sort of issues is on the infrastructure side of or of things like or on the cd part this is where uh, i have seen sometimes they hallucinate a lot meaning they give you wrong information and uh, you will go in loop uh, you know trying to fix things or you will try different prompts but you will get the same answers this is what happened this is where i feel that whatever you have learned and your experience will outshine the actual model itself you know for instance one of the example that i can give you is when well, i was writing a terraform script um i wanted to create a landing zone so the landing zone has to be like you know each service is created first let's say the vpc is created first or the vpn is created first and then after the vpc is created then you have to create the compute engine or ec2 instance right this is the pattern of landing zones that you create for a cloud project or cloud environment now if you ask cloud or if you ask any id to do it then what it does is it will try to create everything by itself like it will create the vpc um, and then it will create ec2 instance so it it creates everything in one file in a step by step i mean you can try with different prompting but here uh, your logical thinking of using data blocks of uh, terraform or if you specifically tell that hey i want to use data blocks then only it will create so this is where like you have to know exactly what you want to achieve and uh, that's why uh, companies require still people devops engineers with experience that way you want to guide or you want to take the help of ai and uh, you want to do things but you should know what you're what you're planning to do it is not like you blindly give some prompts and it will tell you to execute and you execute but you will end up again going into that loop of fixing things and uh, it might give you a lot of wrong information you will go back to google search so it will be a complete waste of time similarly i have faced a lot of these issues when i was creating uh, kubernetes um, files uh, or the yaml files with respect to google compute engine uh, rather gc internal which is a parameter that we use to create load balancer in google cloud and i was going into the similar loop because you cannot blindly trust uh, llms and uh, you know sometimes your knowledge whatever you have learned over the documentation will be much better because you don't know what these models or which documents or what versions of the documents to be more precise these models have been trained on and they might give you some very wrong information all right so basically the bottom line is end of the day um your experience and your logical thinking and you know um, whatever you have learnt your experience will definitely outshine the llms and the ai but ai with devops is like in any other field comprehending it's helping a lot to you so that you don't have to manually sit and write the code for designing the pipelines or manually manually debugging it might give you some good indication for instance if you are stuck somewhere with the logs if you just paste the log it will tell you where exactly things might have gone wrong in the code so so that you don't have to ask the developer you can fix yourself uh, some of the code like for instance if it is back end code and similarly i have used ai for documentation a lot of documentation because i have to present to the client and uh, this this is where exactly i have used ai a lot so one to write the ci cd pipelines to write terraform files and then to do some basic debugging stuff and then ultimately to do documentation but always i had the plan and i have used ai to execute my plan it is it is not like maybe in some cases on the security side i asked ai suggestion because if you do not have experience then you will ask ai suggestion but you'll also think logically if that makes sense to the client or to the project and that's why i feel that ai will not disrupt devops in a much larger way at least uh, in the foreseeable future future but we do not know what is going to happen uh, so keep learning keep practicing and uh, in spite of whatever ai is doing 
they still need SRE DevOps to build these AI models in the infrastructure. So your job is still going to be there. So I hope uh, this would address and this will give you some confidence to learn things um, and, and learn because sometimes uh, it is easy to get into the noise and then forget what we are trying to do in our IT career. So I would suggest that keep focusing on your goals and uh, just forget about the noise. If you want to know how each model have fared in the day-to-day -day DevOps task that I have completed, then let me in the comment section. I can give you comparison between three models or the pro versions of all these models. Uh, but thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, do give it a like. And thanks for watching.